It's a pleasure having you again, my friends, here on Will EduTech. And this is part one in a series of videos of our activities on indices or exponents. Okay. Now, a quick note. If you're not so strong on your indices or your exponents, please, you could always check out our playlist uh, where we taught the basic concepts before, uh, before you try these uh, activities. OK, it's just a thumbs up and um, because I'll be moving a little bit faster through these activities. OK, guys, now let, let's let's get into it quickly. Let's say in the exam, you walked into the exam and you saw a question like this. Let's say number one, we had a 4K and this is multiplying, multiplied by 2K. And I'm going to put this, all of that in brackets. Okay. And this is raised to the third power. Now, uh, remember the power to power rule. Remember when you look at the base, I have a base two here. This would be base two to the one. And I have a base K here. So this would be base K to the one power, to the first power. So really what this is saying, I'm just going to simply take down back my 4K and I'm multiplying that by, and I'm just going to use the power to power rule here. This is, this is really base 2 raised to the first power and I'm going to multiply by multiply that by my power 3 that is outside and also I have a base k here my friends and base k is raised to the first power also and I'm going to simply multiply that by my 3 outside again okay so that's been multiplied by 3 so really essentially what we have left over here guys we have a 4k 4k and that is being multiplied by base 2 and I'm simply going to multiply out my powers I'm going to say 1 times 3 that's a 3 so this is base 2 raised to the third power times my k okay and if you notice I'm just simply multi -not multiplying out the powers and that's 1 times 3 that would give me a 3 also now let's just simplify this quickly now let by simplifying, I can just bring down my 4K again, my friends. And I'm just simply walking you through these steps so that you can be very clear as to what is happening. Remember, 2 to the 3 is the same as saying 2 times 2 times 2, okay? And that is the same as 8, okay, my friends? 2, 2 is 4, and 4, 2 will give us a 8. So this is really 8 and I have a K being raised to the third power, okay? Now, if you should remember, my friends, the here, if you look at this carefully, even before I go there, if you should look at this carefully, we have numbers here now working with. So I can simply say this is four times eight and four times eight will give us a 32, okay? Now, if you notice my K here beside the four is raised to the first power, okay? And I have another K here, which is raised to the third power. So I'm really multiplying indices of a common base K. And we, we say, as we, as we have said before, when multiplying indices of a common base is as if you're adding the powers. So I can simply take my common base K, rewrite that, and K over here is raised to the first power, and I'm simply going to add this power to that, okay? And if you're not sure, you could always check out our videos, uh, uh, the first rule on multiplying indices of the same base. So for our answer now, my friends, we would have 32, okay? And that is K, and we're just simply adding the powers, 1 plus 3 raised to the fourth power okay so that would be our answer it's pretty much that easy now let's move on quickly to question two okay now in question two we have we have 100 125 okay raised to the one third okay my friends raised to the one third power now let, let's just write that a little bit better uh raised to the one upon three okay that looks better now really what this is saying uh, and if you remember you could always visit the uh fractional rule when a base is raised to a fraction it's also can be re rewritten as a third in third form okay so i can simply say i am taking the cube root remember the denominator becomes the root Okay, so the three here in my denominator will become the root out here. So I'm taking the cube root of the base, which is 125. Okay, and the numerator will become the power. Okay, however, we know that 125 raised to the first power, any number, any base raised to the first power is itself. So really what this is saying, I'm taking the cube root of 125 and that's five. Okay, my friends. So five would be our answer. And when we're teaching uh, this rule, this is this rule number six. 
we basically showed you how to use the calculator there. So if you're not sure, you could always watch that video and you will also learn how to use the calculator to solve for solve for that. Okay. Now let's quickly move. Um, let's look at rule number. Let's look at uh, question number three. And these are exam type questions, my friends, that you will find very useful, pretty much useful uh, when doing your end of your exams or even your CXE's exams. Okay. Now let's check this now. We have a three squared. Okay. And this is all over. This is all over. I have a base nine here, nine in my denominator raised to the third power. Let's just quickly get this out of the way. Third power, and this is multiplying 27. Okay. Now, uh, pretty much what you're simply saying here, my friends, the first thing you should ask yourself when faced with a problem like this, you can ask yourself, can uh, can I can I have a can I find a common base out of all of these numbers? If you notice, I have a three in my numerator, three squared. Then I have a base nine here in my denominator, and I have a base twenty-seven there. Okay, so if you should look carefully, you would have realized that all three numbers, okay, share a common base of base three. So I could just simply rewrite this by saying this implies that in my numerator I have a three squared, okay, and that is all over my denominator and uh, nine the base nine nine is the same as if you if you should note guys nine is the same as saying three times three okay three times three is the same as nine so i could rewrite nine as three squared okay i could rewrite nine by saying this is three squared okay but remember three nine was raised to the power of three so i have to raise that to the power of three okay and that is multiplying so let's let's put the multiplication sign. Okay, my friends, and 27 can also be re be rewritten as 3 cube, okay? That's 27. Now, really, if you should note from earlier lessons when as when we were working with indices, we we said that since we have a 3 square in the, in the numerator, I'm just going to re rewrite my 3 square. However, in earlier lessons, my friends, here we have the power to power rule coming out. So I can simply say multiplying out the powers by saying two times three, that would give me a six. So I would have three to the sixth power here. So I would have a three to the sixth power there. And that is multiplying a three, three to the third power there. Okay. Now let's take this up top a bit. Let's just take this up top a bit. So here we would have notice in my denominator, I have a common base in my numerator. I have a common base also. All the bases are three. So that's the objective to get a common base right throughout. Okay. So now we can just simply go about calculating the powers now. Okay. So in my numerator, my friends, I have a three squared and that is all upon. And since the base is common in in the denominator, I can just simply, since they are multiplying each other, I can simply add the bases down the bottom. So I can just simply say this is 3 raised to the power of 6, and I'm just going to add the, the powers, okay? And if you're not sure, you could always revisit uh, our playlist or videos on the first rule when multiplying indices of the same base, okay? So really, what I have left here, in my numerator, I have a 3 squared, and that is all over... 3 raised to the power of 6 plus 3, and that would give us a 3 to the 9, okay? Now, this is pretty cool from here. Uh, all I'm saying is, is this now, my friends. I am just, since I have the same base, a common base, and in this case now, I'm dividing indices of the same base. I am simply going to subtract my powers. So I have a common base, 3. So this is 3 raised to the 2. That's in my numerator, and I'm just simply subtracting the power at in my denominator okay so this will really this implies that i have left over here now my friends i have a base three and that is raised to the two minus nine that will leave us with a negative seven okay so remember when a base is raised to a negative power we can just simply flip it because this is base three upon one raised to the negative seven so we could just simply flip that and write it in a, in its as a positive index so we could say this is one upon three raised to the power of positive seven no no when we flipped it the base became the power rather became positive okay and that's pretty much it hope that these lessons were useful see you in the next video where we'll be looking at part two we'll pick up at question four bye bye